And Jennifer, thanks. And tonight, Florida evacuees have already made their way into Georgia ahead of Hurricane Milton. Officials project this mass evacuation could be the largest since Hurricane Irma in 2017. Atlanta News first reporter Patrick Quinn stationed alongside I-75 in Henry County. And Patrick, the intensity of this storm has driven many people north. And Blair, this is a mass evacuation event, and I've been able to talk with some evacuees who have already made their way up from Florida into Georgia today. And they, yes, they told me it was the double whammy of just experiencing Helene on top of the upgrade of Milton now being a Category 5 hurricane. That influenced them to go ahead and leave Florida, get ahead of the masses, and get ahead of Hurricane Milton. We secured the house as much as we could, and and then uh, wished the family that stayed good luck and we, we left to packed up the animals and left. Mike and his family packed up this morning, left Clearwater, Florida, joined the droves, leaving the looming hurricane and their lives behind. And it's such a hard decision to actually uproot and, and, and go. Why did you decide this morning? Well, um, because the intensity of the storm. Patty Rhodes with her daughter, four kids and a dog crammed in for a long drive from Sarasota to Western North Carolina, where they might initially be strapped for supplies after Hurricane Helene ravaged the region. They seem to be OK. Um, they're a little short on supplies because everyone that is taking supplies over to Asheville. And what could be the largest mass evacuation since 2017? Like the bumper to bumper traffic has been insane. We talked with Ellis Grignoli and her two friends, all students at the University of South Florida, heading to Atlanta to hunker down. And it's scary, honestly, it really is. As they pass Valdosta, they snap these pictures, trees, signs, and debris still down from Helene. State emergency officials urging evacuees to keep heading north to higher ground, writing, quote, we welcome you to find refuge in areas such as Albany, Columbus, Macon, Savannah, Atlanta, Cartersville, Ella Jay, and Dahlonega. Resources in South Georgia are limited, so please call ahead. For Mike, on his way to Ohio, he's not sure when he can head back home and what he'll return to. Well, nothing we can do is going to stop it, so we'll just wait and see what happens and then deal with it. And tonight, the Atlanta Motor Speedway, they just announced that they will be hosting, as they have done for prior large events, they will host evacuees at their site in Hampton free of charge. Live tonight along I-75 in Henry County, Patrick Quinn, Atlanta News First. The cost of Hurricane Helene.